Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how we can print on this surface here, okay? On uh, conforming our printing to this kind of structure. This is a model from one of the members of the non planar group, Sebastiano, that is a car seat that I'm using as an example, okay? So I'm gonna just reference this surface here, just clicking the right, the right button here and put set one B wrap. And as I'm selected, it will re reference that on the project. I'm gonna hide everything. Okay, so we have this surface here and we are going to use this array components. It's already on the, on the alpha version that you can copy a bunch of times and uh, in a direction that you want that you could just put the, the play here. Okay, and it will uh, create some copies for it. After that, we feed that surf that layer surface on the uh, info and wall component, so we can create our paths. Okay. Oh, some re for some reason the my preview is glitching. I don't know why, but let's continue. Uh, and after we have this, uh, this paths here, okay, this is the, this is our paths to print. So it's a zigzag, it's, it goes in, in two directions, keeps moving from vertical to horizontal. Okay. And this, we can, of course, change the density of the infill. This is only the top infill. Okay only the bottle and top infill you can select the amount of walls whatever uh, after that we can uh, plug that to the normal planes uh, component okay that requires the layer surface that we built before and the printing path that we want okay so we plug those two and then we have the normal planes on those points okay and you can see here that those planes are exactly wherever we need it okay so it's dividing by uh angle okay and you can control that so we have all the points and the planes here necessary to move the robot and that's what we are going to do right now Okay, so we have the path. I put the surface here so you can see. Let's see. Uh, we have some points that we cannot reach, but that is a more technical issue that I, I, I will not address right now. It's more uh, related to other mechanical things, but uh you can see that it's following the curvature okay and it's basically doing the printing oriented to that uh normal um of course for this size and this kind of print you need probably another setup you can try to use different types of movement here on the KUKA PCR, that's a plugin that I'm using to uh, to see those those planes and you know, so use that to solve the inverse schematics. This one is way better right now, the linear, but in some points you have some singularities. But is, this is the good thing about Grasshopper because we can just, for example, show the surface that we are you can start working and change whatever it is in the environment and you get the updated version in real time basically so you can experiment with different kind of positioning for example uh, let's say if we want to try to print that vertically like this Okay, uh, could be an interesting option 
for this as well and you can just see how that goes in real time so keep that in mind that's a good thing about grasshopper <laughs> and the capabilities of using this kind of environment to try to create those paths okay but of course we have some issues that needs to be addressed more uh, specifically to make that happen but this is the overall structure that you need to use for something like that on the generation of the plants then other possibility instead of using the normal uh alignment you could use like the align plane generation so you have control of the direction you could set for example to be aligned to the, the world so it will basically follow word xy keeping the structure or your tool in that direction or you can for example set a plane that i put here for example this plane here and i have control of the rotation of it and for example let's say 90 degrees and we see after that okay so this is exporting planes aligned to that plane that i just showed you and if we start to increase this angle here uh, and change the type of alignment for number three which is the align you can see how that affects the direction of the planes that you want so you can for example set a, a good alignment here that you know is going to work of course you have to uh, take account for that uh, collisions to the part okay but maybe the PCR can uh, get rid of that for you okay and you have the alignment of the parts here okay and the good thing is you can change easily the angles to help your needs for example 